other day came up with that cool little progression. It's actually longer than that. Maybe I'll turn it into a song. Who knows? But um, anyways, I thought it was a cool little uh, case study to show you a, a finger picking technique that I like to use. And um, basically, all it is is you pick. Well, first off, I'll explain that the way I like to pick, and some people, everyone's different, but I'll teach you the way that um, I like, and maybe you can find, maybe you find something else that works for you from somewhere else. I don't know, but um, maybe you like the way that I like. What I like to do is I grab my pick. Um, you can see here uh, between my my thumb and my index finger. Okay, um, and that leaves these three fingers nice and handy, right, for picking. So what I like to do is pick the bass note, the root note, with my pick, and then I kind of anchor my top three fingers on the top three strings of uh, the guitar, okay? So they kind of just sit there, and then, which gives me a nice reference point because I can easily then move my my pick around um, to the different uh, root note strings, right? The the fourth, fifth, and sixth strings. Um, but uh, so when you're practicing that, practice in different patterns, same as you would if you were using a pick. Gives you a bit of a softer tone when you're using your fingers. change chords. Um, then you can play around with the patterns too, right? And all I'm doing there is working off those top three strings. In that case there, I was going um, one, two, or sorry, uh, according to the string names, three, two, three, one, three, two, three, right? Um, but anyways, the, the one that I wanted to show you in a little bit more detail today is um, even simpler than that, really. All I'm doing there is hitting the root note by itself with my pick, and then plucking the second and third strings together. <coughs> Second and third strings are always getting plucked together in this particular pattern that I'm showing you, right? So what I'll do is I'll just zoom in really quick on my on my right hand and uh, show you what that looks like. So I'm playing an A minor seven, by the way. So as you can see, I've got my three fingers kind of anchored right here on the uh, the top three strings, which leaves my my picking finger here. Um, Free to do whatever I want on the bass strings, right? So, playing an A minor seven uh, with that pattern I was showing you, we're just using our our uh, middle finger and ring finger on the right hand to pluck those. See, I'm kind of hitting the guitar. It's just kind of a stylistic thing. Just kind of hitting the strings there. Adds that kind of rhythmic feel into the thing, right? And all I'm doing there is I'm playing around with the E minor 7. Um, but again, just showing you the right hand here. Um, two notes, those two strings, okay? Then later on I move up to the D minor 7. Okay, so um, hopefully that's showing you that part. Um, bass note, third and second strings. you there. 
zoom out and I'll quickly show you this chord progression so you can have some fun with it. Okay, so here we are zoomed out nicely again. Um, all that I was playing there, you may have heard different things, different, you know, fill notes and stuff like that, but all I was doing was um, playing an A minor 7 and then adding in my pinky on on the uh, second string at the third fret, okay? And then take that pattern and slide it up to a D minor 7 at the 5th fret and um, do exactly the same thing. You can throw your pinky in there as well, right? Another thing I do is I just remove my middle finger, or my index finger in this case, and play the 2nd string open. been used by anyone I'm sure it has just kind of making it up but go up to an E minor 7 do the same thing right it's a good practice for um, this finger picking technique because your root note is all in the same string it's all in the five string and um, the chord pattern is exactly the same the chord formation is the same all over the fretboard wherever you're playing so that means that your right hand is free to completely focus on um, getting those the, the strings properly. You don't have to worry about switching strings, anything like that, right? You just play the fifth string, that's always your root note in this particular little progression, and you play the second and third strings because those are kind of uh, you know, your other, other notes. to um, some things you can do with your fingers finger picking um, of course you can you can kind of take that into all kinds of different directions but uh, there's one technique that I like to use it's a kind of a cool mellow extremely mellow kind of rhythmic um, type of way of picking type of way of picking type of way of picking you should say that a few times in a row um, but uh, anyways have fun with that and we'll see you again next time it's Jonathan here from guitartipsweekly.com